I made all of this caviar, but it's fake. Can I convince somebody that it's real? Caviar is cured fish egg from sturgeon. That family of fish is the largest freshwater fish in the world, and they've been around since 250 million years ago. They are as old as dinosaurs. The largest one ever discovered was a beluga sturgeon that was over 28 feet, 8.5 meters long, and weighed in about 3,463 pounds. That's as much as a Tesla Model 3 or a Toyota Prius. Caviar used to be enjoyed by everybody, from peasants to royalty. In the 1800s, it was the same price as butter and served for free at bars as a salty snack to drink with. So how did caviar get so expensive? Sturgeons have a long reproductive cycle. They can live up to being 100 years old. And the little ones start to reproduce after six years old, while the big ones can go upwards to 20 years old before they start reproducing. So yeah, it takes a long time. And they actually swim back to where they're born in order to lay their eggs. That's a huge problem. If humans built dams and all of a sudden just stopped their path to be able to go back to their spawning point, well, that's actually happened. There was one point where 600,000 sturgeons tried to swim back to their spawn point, but they were blocked by a dam. So what ended up happening is that most of them died. And as caviar got more accessible to the world, it got way more popular in combination with their long ass lives, overfishing and habitat destruction caused their population to decrease drastically, which caused the price to skyrocket. And fishing for sturgeon became a lucrative business where you can make a ton of money. It got so bad that sturgeons became an endangered species and now it's illegal to fish wild sturgeon. The caviar we get today are from farms, which is another painstaking process that I'll get to later. Caviar became associated with status and wealth, especially during the industrial revolution. People wanted to try these exotic raw eggs from these dinosaurs of animals. Today, the most expensive caviar is called Almas caviar. It comes from an albino all white sturgeon that has lived anywhere from 60 to 100 years old and goes for $25,000 a kilogram, which is actually 25 times more expensive than the same weight in gold. And we're gonna do it for less than a dollar. In a pot, we're adding some water, dashi powder, dark soy sauce, fish sauce, and salt. Then we're gonna boil it for a couple minutes. Afterwards, we're gonna add 2% by weight agar agar. We're gonna let it cool down for a few minutes, and finally we're gonna use a pipette in order to drop bits of hot liquid into the cold oil. Agar agar is made of an algae that is kind of like jello, where it's a liquid at hot temperatures and starts solidifying at 100 Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius. So when you drop the hot liquid into cold oil, they don't mix and it's cooled instantly, immediately forming little spheres. We're straining it from the oil and rinsing it and putting it in these little caviar things. So I'm gonna do the weird food content creator thing of calculating the total cost of everything apportioned only to the amount that I use. And that came out to be 34 cents. But if you bought everything from the store, the total would be 25.39. And since I had everything just laying around my house, it really cost me zero dollars. Except I think the texture of these are gonna be more like a crunchy jello. So I do have another way that's gonna be a little bit more realistic. We're gonna add water, squid ink, dashi powder, salt, and MSG. I've never really had squid ink before, so. Ugh. Ooh, that's, ooh, it smells like seafood. Oh, that's weird. This texture is crazy. It's like a paste. Ooh, oh, that tastes like seafood. And then blend it with 1% sodium alginate until we get a thickened gel. Then we're gonna let it chill in the fridge overnight. While we're doing that, we're also gonna add 0.5% calcium lactate into some water and then let that sit overnight too. After a day, we're gonna pipette and drop little orbs of our squid ink mixture into the calcium chloride mixture to make popping lola. Spherification is a technique that turns liquids into gel spheres. It works by mixing a liquid with sodium alginate, a substance from seaweed, and then dropping it into a calcium bath. The calcium reacts with the alginate on the surface of each drop, creating a thin gel shell, leaving the inside liquid. Then we strain and rinse off the caviar with some water and put it into our tin. I think to make the most convincing caviar, we're gonna need to know how it's made. Sturgeons are raised in farms for 15 years. That's 15 whole years where you have to feed these things before you see even a cent of profit. What's also crazy is you can't tell the gender of a sturgeon until they're three years old. So you have to raise a bunch of baby sturgeons for three whole years before you have to kill off 
half of them. And to determine their gender, you have to use blood tests and ultrasound them, each one manually, by hand. Then after another 10 years, you have to give them hormone therapy just to have them ripen their eggs. And then finally, after 15 years, you kill them, and then you harvest that sweet, sweet sturgeon roe. The eggs come in these little sacks that you have to separate them by hand because they're very delicate and they will pop on you. Then they're salted and aged for another few weeks, which then gets turned into caviar before they're sold and finally consumed. Seems doable. Caviar is essentially fish eggs with the 4% salt brine, so I got my salmon roe and added 4% salt. Yep, that's it. But I wanted to know what it felt like to take the eggs out of the sack. So I found these fish eggs. These are like herring roe fish eggs from Canada. I couldn't find the actual eggs that are still in like the egg sack for the fish, but this looked close enough. So they look like they just laid it onto the seaweed and people just harvested it. Kind of looked like the Alma caviar. Let's see how it goes. So I just dropped everything into the water and tried to separate it. But I realized that it was extremely hard, so I used a metal grate, which destroyed the seaweed and made everything super slimy. So then I tried soaking it in a salt brine for an hour to soften the membranes, which did make it a lot easier to peel off the seaweed, but everything was still clumped together. I realized I had a mesh that perfectly fit an individual egg in each hole, so I sandwiched two of them together and it was a lot easier. But after an hour of doing this, my hands are soggy and salty and everything smells like fish. And I can see why caviar is so damn expensive. It is so hard to separate these eggs from their membrane in order to get them to individual like ball sized pieces. It is crazy. I cannot believe this is a thing. All right, now I'm gonna rinse it. Finally. All right, normally this is like cured in salt, but because I did the salt brine in order to soften its membrane, I'm not gonna cure it in salt. Instead, I'm just gonna dry it and then store it. I wanted to try making an egg look black like caviar, so I added some water with some squid ink and put some flying fish roll in it overnight. It didn't turn out dark enough, so I added some more black food coloring and then it eventually turned black enough. This 30 gram container of caviar cost me $90. Now we're gonna see if I can convince somebody that this fake caviar is real. Okay, this is my sister. Hi yo. We're gonna try one, two, three, four, five, six caviars. This is number one. I have to guess which one's real. Yeah. All right, next one. That one tastes like boba. Next one. Oh, that's a salmon roe. This is four. <laughs> that's the tiny one. All right, this one. Okay. Okay, last one. Whoa. That one was like the least like crunchy. Is there any one that you want to try again? Mm, can I try the first one again? Yeah. That one still tastes like seawater. Mm, maybe the first or the last one. <laughs> all, right, all right, so okay. you said final answer is? I liked the first one the most. Let's choose the first one. You think it's the first one? I like the first, okay. All right, all right, all right. I'm, you can take your mask I off. I like the last one, I swear. This oh, is I knew it, okay, <laughs> damn it. I was like, the last one tasted the weirdest, like different in texture. It wasn't like the popping one. Yeah. It was the least poppy one. What was this one? This one, I made popping boba out of squid ink. So I think if I made this out of squid ink, it would have tasted pretty similar to this. Yeah, oh. this one had a different flavor. It didn't have any like popping at all. Uh -huh. It was like nice and mushy. All right, um, we're gonna eat it on chicken nuggets now. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't think that $1 fake tasted that much like caviar. The best times are never about having the nicest things, but creating memories with what you have around you. <laughs> God damn it, this is so dumb. All right, well, have a nice day. Yeah, have a nice day, see ya.